planet Earth, the cradle of humanity, the home we cherish and strive to protect. But what if its fate is not as bright as we hope? The fate of Earth is a mystery waiting to be unraveled, a thrilling journey full of danger and uncertainty. Similar to our own fate, the destiny of our planet was sealed from its very inception, determined by the laws of physics and science. Earth was formed approximately 4.5 billion years ago, emerging from the debris of a supernova that occurred in the distant past. During its early years, Earth was relentlessly bombarded by comets, asteroids, and even planet-sized objects, leaving its surface scarred and battered. Over time, the bombardment slowed, allowing life to take hold and flourish. But even as life thrived, it remained subject to periodic extinction events as leftover material continued to strike the planet. And despite its apparent stability, Earth will someday face its ultimate demise. What may surprise you is just how little time life as we know it has left. Human activity has already caused what is known as the Great Holocene Extinction, driving countless species to the brink of extinction. And even without our influence, there is one specific event on the horizon that will drastically alter the fate of our planet. The return of the Ice Ages. We are currently in a warm period known as the Holocene Interglacial Period, which normally would be expected to end in around 25,000 years. However, due to human activity and the modification of the atmosphere, this event could be significantly delayed. Nonetheless, it is a reminder that even the most enduring and resilient planet is subject to the forces of nature and time. Looking further ahead, the Earth's future will see the return of the Ice Ages, with the advance of ice predicted to occur anywhere between 50 to 130,000 years from now. This will result in the planet resembling its appearance during the last ice age, with vast ice sheets covering large parts of the globe. Alongside this, plate tectonics will continue, causing the continents to collide and form new mountain ranges and fault zones, eventually creating a single supercontinent. Over the next 250 million years, the length of the day on Earth will increase by around an hour and a half due to the tidal forces of the Moon slowing the planet's rotation. During this period, the Moon's distance from Earth will also increase, leading to a potential dramatic change in Earth's axial tilt after 1.5 billion years. However, the most significant potential effect of the Earth-Moon interaction is the possibility of Earth tidally locking itself to the Moon, meaning that only one half of the planet will ever face the Moon, similar to the Moon only showing us one face due to its tight lock with Earth. Despite these factors, Earth's ultimate fate lies in the hands of the Sun. As the star ages and changes, it will eventually destroy Earth just as the Greek god Kronos devoured his children. While the end of the earth will be slow and drawn out, just as its birth and evolution into a life-sustaining planet were, the conditions on the planet will begin to deteriorate naturally in as few as 600 million years. Nonetheless, the planet and the sun will continue to be intertwined until their eventual demise billions of years from now. As the sun ages, its luminosity will increase, with staggering effects. The solar radiation reaching Earth will increase, causing a decrease in atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. This is due to a higher rate of weathering and silicate minerals, which will eventually drop carbon dioxide levels below what trees need for photosynthesis. Not all plant life will die, and some trees may adapt, but the long-term trend will be for plant life to become extinct, leading to the extinction of most animal life on Earth. Earth will become increasingly hostile to us, and a billion years from now, 
the sun's luminosity will be great enough to evaporate the oceans. Earth's water will exist only in the atmosphere, causing a runaway greenhouse effect. Without the ocean, two surprising effects will occur. Plate tectonics will cease as water lubricates Earth's tectonic plates. The plates will grind to a halt, possibly preserving the shape of the former supercontinent. Following this, due to Earth's core cooling, the Earth's magnetic dynamo may disappear. This will deprive Earth of its magnetic field and increased loss of volatiles from our atmosphere. Incredibly, life on Earth will eventually come to an end. This will happen in approximately 7.5 billion years, when the Sun exhausts its hydrogen fuel and starts fusing heavier elements, causing it to become a red giant star. As the Sun expands, it will swallow Mercury and Venus before engulfing the Earth entirely. The heat and pressure of the Sun's interior will reduce our planet to atoms, erasing all traces of life that ever existed on it. Of course, there is a slim possibility that the human race might become a Type 3 galactic empire and find a way to save Earth. Climate engineering and technological advancements could also alter the course of events. Perhaps in the future, we will have the ability to preserve Earth as a museum planet or even refuel the sun and extend its life. The possibilities are endless, and it's exciting to imagine what the future holds.